U.S. Open nine ball championships right after this. It's the third time now in this game he's tried that. It hasn't worked. Well, he didn't get the cue ball where he wanted to again, Dave. He let Efren be able to see the ball and hit it, and that cost him uh, the safety play right there. So it all comes down to the break right here. If he makes a ball, he didn't make a ball, so Nick's still alive. Yeah, and that's really what's kept Varner in, in the match. And the Varner fans, you hear them. Unfortunately, he's le he's not, he hasn't left an easy shot, and the table is, is a little difficult. Notice the five and six ball and eight ball. Mm -hmm. They're all down here. And the one ball is here, and the two ball is here. What Nick has to make sure is that he doesn't make the one ball and get down here behind the three and seven. He may even play a safety here. But I don't think he wants to take his chances with his safeties anymore. He's a little yeah. off on them, Dave. I, I hear you. At any rate, he's going to take his time and decide what he wants to do. Really and truly, you're, you're looking at one of the great players of the game, two-time U.S. Open champion, a world champion. He's uh, won a straight pool world title. Yes, he has. He's going to play a safety. He's going to put the one ball down table and the cue ball over behind the two ball. Did he hit it hard enough? Oh, he hit a great, great mm -hmm. shot. That's a great shot, Dave. Oh, boy, it is. I don't know how Reyes can figure out a way out of this one. Well, I wouldn't bet that he doesn't hit it. Ephraim will go to the bottom rail. He's got the cue ball right behind the two, so he's going to be forced to hit it a certain way. Now, he's going to go to the bottom rail and come over here to this rail and try to hit the one ball. What kind of English you got to put on this one? Well, he's going to hit it hard, I believe. But there's one thing, uh, he may have to go from to this rail over to this rail and lengthen it out and come over to the one right here. Now, if he catches, now if you notice, if he catches the cue ball right here, you notice, you watch when he kicks it. If the cue ball hits there, he should hit the one ball. And he knows that, so he'll be playing the cue ball to hit there. He'll use right hand English, running English, and he'll hit it pretty hard. He, oh, got it. Great shot. Oh. Goodness. And look at that. Look at that shot. There is no real great shot left for Varner. What a master. Notice the shot. He got right where he wanted to. Caught the point. He hits the one. Very thin. He got kind of lucky here. He hits it real thin and he brings the cue ball back behind the six ball. That's a great shot. A little fortunate though and unlucky for Nick Varner. You just can't play any better than that. <laughs> I mean, Varner hit the shot that he wanted to on the safety and the man from Milan that's just unbelievable mm. that, that's a great shot I mean he just hit the one ball perfect he, he just leaves you speechless now Nick's gonna try to kick the one in he's gonna hit right English and come down and try to kick the one in Woo! oh great look shot. at here look at this shot uh -huh. <laughs> Folks, you're watching something special right here. This is a great shot. He hits right hand English on the cue ball, jumps the ball up in the air, comes off the rail with the English, hits the one ball, almost full in the face, double kisses it, sends it on the other side of the nine ball, and the cue ball goes right behind the nine. That's a great break for Nick Warner. He's going to come to the bottom rail again and try to hit this with right hand English. He's got to watch he doesn't scratch. There's a scratch. Yep. That's what he, he got had to be the careful. ball, but you said you warned him. <laughs> he oh had my to God. Make sure he didn't scratch. Hey, that's the first mistake he's made. I mean, he's won three in a row in the battle of defense. Finally, it was Varner to win one. There's nothing he could do about that shot. That was very tough to hit. But Nick made a great shot oh. on, the, on, the, on the one ball. They both made fabulous shots. Really? Now Nick's got his work cut out running the table. Yeah, this is not an easy setup by any means. No, it isn't. But he and has a full to. table still there. Well, the one, two, and three are in nice positions, but the whole problem is the five ball. The five and the six. He shoots his left-handed. Nick shoots lefty and righty. He shoots lefty very, very good. Are there uh, many pros that can do that? Yes. Most, most of us can do that. Mike Siegel plays very good uh, opposite-handed. So does Buddy Hall and Earl Strickland. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he made a mistake. I don't know if he got it or not. Yes, he has it. He'll play the three ball in the side pocket. 
and the cue ball come down here, one, two, and up table for the four ball. Now he'll figure the position he wants on the four ball to get on the five. It all depends on where, what he does with the five ball. I believe he, he wants to come down to the bottom end of the table for the five ball. So he's going to play position on the four to make it easy for himself. He'll bring the cue ball up by the side pocket. He has to make sure he doesn't scratch on this shot, too. He'll, go, he'll make sure he gets to the rail, I believe. He did. He's on the rail. He's coming off. He's got an angle on the four ball. Notice the angle. He's hit that perfect. He has a nice angle. He'll take the cue ball. He'll hit the cue ball with high left in English and bring the cue ball two rails, two rails down this way, back here, and he wants to come out here for the five ball. This is a speed shot. Did he get there? Looks like he hit it. Looks like he hit it perfect. Mm -hmm. That's a that's such a great shot right there. The speed at which he hit that to make it come over and land within within six inches or three inches of where you want it. Now he has to come out in the middle of the table. He should come for the six ball. He'll hit the cue ball with low right hand. That should make sure he has a shot on the six ball. He won't touch the eight with the cue ball at all. There it is. Well, I'll take a chance, Dave, and say that he gets this table here. When he does, it will be one of the more classic tables of the night, <laughs> of the tournament. The way they played defense and battled back and forth in the beginning. It's a great game. Here's a three-rail shot. Laid perfect to come right. Notice how his position. The cue ball is coming toward the eight ball. Now he's straight in on the eight. He'll just pocket the eight, and he'll roll down a little bit for the nine ball in the opposite corner. Bounce off the rail. The 1994 edition worthy of being called the U.S. Open Championship. Nick Varner and Efren Reyes putting on a show here in Chesapeake. And money to see this one are definitely getting their money's worth. Efren Reyes jumped out in front, built up a fifth one, five to one lead. Varner's been battling back. Now it's seven to five. The last game of this match was a classic with some unbelievable defensive play by both players. And then Varner finally prevailed after he'd lost three times in defensive struggles to the Philippine master. That instance right there, he made a great safety, and Ephraim just made a great hit. Let's see how he breaks him. It all, this is where it tells the story right here, Dave. Hitting the one ball solid and hope he doesn't scratch on the cue ball. He make the one ball. No. Did he make a ball? He needs to make a ball. It's odd how uh, neither player has really been able to capitalize on their break. That has not been the story in this particular match. Well, it's not so bad because even though he didn't make a ball, it's a tough run out. Ephraim has a cut shot on the one ball. He'll play the one ball in this corner, but notice where the two ball is. He's got to bring the cue ball through these these three rails and back down table or off the side rail and back out. He's got his work cut out. It's not an easy shot now. He may just play to cut the two ball in and not try to get perfect on the two. But he also has the three and eight. The eight ball is blocking the pocket for the three ball, so he has his work cut out. If he runs out here, it'd be a great run out. There. Six ball got in the way. That was a tough break. He tried to shorten the angle at which the cue ball would come around table. And he got a tough break. Now he has a bank shot on the two ball or a safety. Either one he decides to do. Now the bank shot, he could bring the two ball on this rail back down table into here and bring the cue ball over here position on the three ball on the side or he has a safety where he just hits the two ball up table and brings the cue ball right here behind these balls behind the six and nine be interesting to see what he does I think he's going to play a safety he won't hit this real hard he'll put the two ball up by a little past the side pocket and watch out for the gully way here he may have left the gully way notice the cue ball between the three and nine he may have left Nick a shot between the three ball and the nine ball. That'd be a nice break for Nick if he can see the two ball. Crowd seems to think he didn't. Well, I think he did. All I right. think he left a passageway for the two ball right between the three and nine. 
and it looks like is how he's going to the shot that he has a chance but now he's concerned about three and eight and this is not an easy shot after he makes if he makes the two ball he has noticed the pass a better angle yeah it does yeah. appear with enough english on the ball that you can get through well he, he has an open uh open passageway there dave he can he can just make the two ball but he wants to put english on it to come back up for the three with three eight combination he'll hit this very hard Great shot. And that time his safety backfired. That's a great shot right there. He, hit it, he hit it real hard, and he's got on the combination now for the eight. And what he's going to have to do now is make sure that the three ball doesn't go in with the eight ball. Because he, could, he has to make sure he has a shot after he pockets the three ball. So he's going to go into the six and nine ball, I think. This is a tough decision. The angle which he has, if he can hit the nine ball, he'll hit the nine ball with the cue ball and knock the nine out of the way so that he has a shot on the three ball next. And the shot. Mm. Okay, I think he's okay. I think he can go to the rail first and make the three ball. It's hard to tell from here, but no, it looks like he might have the three right straight in. He's okay. But he'll probably play, he'll play the cue ball up toward the side pocket. There it is. Now he's left a nice angle on the four, but he'll play the four in here and come off the rail for the five ball in the other corner. And he'll want the cue ball. He'll play the cue ball back on this side, of the, on the left hand side of the table for the six ball. He'll hit the four ball with low left hand English and just bounce the cue ball off the rail. He'll leave an angle on the five ball. Notice the angle he has on the five ball. He'll play this shot with high right hand English and bring the cue ball back over here. Here he's going to play the five ball and come off the rail and back out here for the six ball. Oh. Okay, he's perfect. He's perfect at the nine ball. If the nine ball isn't blocking the seven, now he's going to have to play the six and come back on this side of the table over here for the seven ball somewhere if he can. Bounce off the rail a little bit. There it is. He made some great shots this rack to get out. Well, he did. Some concern now. Reyes is out. Two wins in a row for Nick Varner. And suddenly here in Chesapeake, it's seven to six. Seven to six. Efren Reyes can hardly believe it. But it's been great play. You can't say anybody's lost this. Somebody's trying to win it. Yeah, the, Nick broke the balls last time and uh, he left an open rack for Efren, but it was a tough getting it was tough getting from the one to the two. And he hit the sixth ball and end up making a bad safety. Now, that's what I was talking about, safeties. Nick's been doing that earlier in the match, been leaving Ephraim just enough room to see the ball. Now, what happens here is Ephraim has left just enough room for Nick to see the ball, and Nick took advantage of it and won the game. You can feel the nerves of everybody who's watching, <laughs> but how about these two guys? <laughs> I, I'll tell you the truth from experience. We're not even worried about what's going on. We're out there, but we want a shot. We want to play. I know when I'm playing in the finals, I'm not thinking about how nervous I am. I'm thinking about, give me a shot. I want to win. Nick's made a great, a great break here. Did he make a ball? He needs to make a ball. Did he make a ball? No. Close, but no. There's a good opportunity for Ephraim now. Well, he can't believe with as much velocity he had on that ball that nothing fell his way. Well, he made a great break. Notice the, notice the balls. They're all past the spot, except for three of them. He's knocked six balls past the spot, and he's left a wide open table for Ephraim. If Ephraim can make the one, he has a chance to win this rack. And he there makes it is. the one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great shot. Now he's got a nice shot on the two ball. Play the two ball in the corner and bring the cue ball over here for the three ball. That's a tough break for Nick. He broke the balls really well and hit them really hard and didn't make a ball. That's twice in a row now he's done that. 
definitely fade a part of this game. Well, this is a nice layout here. I mean, he's, he, it's everything like elementary right here. The four ball in the corner. He's going to come off the side rail and play the five in the side. Everything just lays perfect. This is the same way you'd play the balls without numbers on them. To win a major tournament, obviously, you have to be able to play great. But so many people can do that. You, you have to get some good luck. You have to get some breaks along the way, don't you? Oh, yeah. You, you have to get some rolls. Uh, if ever there was a time that... Efren Reyes needed a break in a major title in this country. <laughs> he would love to win the U.S. Open. This was it, and, and this might have been it. A great break. Nothing would fall for Varner. And the map of the table, relatively easy this time around for Reyes. Nice layout here. This the eight in the side. Now just bring the cue ball down to the bottom rail for the nine ball. Now oh, he's hit a little strong. He must have been straight in. At any rate, he's got a nice shot, nice chance to make the nine ball in the corner. There it is. Eight six. Efren Reyes. The 39 year old from the Philippines. Thinking. I've got to get one in on the break. That's the whole kit and caboodle right here. If I can do that, I'm in great shape. Reyes, remember, led 1-0 right off the bat. It was tied 1-1. Then four in a row made it 5-1. Varner never gave up. It was down to 7-6. Then that man, Nick Varner, couldn't make a ball on the break. Reyes ran the table. That's where, that's where we are. That's a tough break for Nick Barner and a good break for Ephraim Reyes. Nick Barner broke the balls perfect twice and didn't make a ball. Now let's see what happens with Ephraim's break. Ephraim may hit him a little bit easier than Nick did. He's going to try to play the one ball on the side. He'll keep the cue ball in the one ball, cue ball in the center table. He made a ball. And... He's got a shot. Oh, this could be over right now. He's got a nice layout here. He's made he's made a ball on the break. Crowd senses. Reyes, who's won eight international titles, could be on the way to his first major U.S. title. He's going to bring the cue ball around two rails in the middle of the table. Low left hand English. One, two, back out in the center of the table. And he's hit a little, little easy. But he's okay because the three ball's right here. Matter of fact, the three and the four are together. He, he's got a nice nice chance for a run out here. All depends what he decides to do with the cue ball here. Now, he has a little angle on the two ball, so he'll probably go to the bottom rail, back out for the three ball. So many times Reyes has played on television in a final here and not one. Many people say he's snake bitten. Wondering how that could be. He's such a great player. Here he's coming off the bottom rail, back out, center for the three ball. That's a great shot. What do you think is uh, running through him right now? What kind of emotions is he feeling? I think right now he knows he's going to win the U.S. Open, to tell you the truth. Uh, he's not thinking negative at all. He's very positive. Uh, all champions are positive thinkers. And he's just thinking now that I'm, I've won this tournament. He won't show his expression until he's won it, but he's got a nice chance to run the table. Balls are open nicely for him, and he's playing great. He's got a nice angle on the five ball to come off the rail for the seven in the same pocket, and the whole secret's going to be from the eight to the nine. He has to get the right position on the eight to come down for the nine. He'll take his time, make sure he gets, he gets the right angle on the seven ball to come out for the eight ball. Okay, now here he's going to play two rails with the cue ball. He's going to bring the cue ball up here somewhere. High left hand English. Look out. Oh. <laughs> it kissed it but came around. Now he's got to watch the nine ball. He doesn't touch the nine ball. He doesn't want to touch the nine ball. He doesn't want to take a foul. He's double checking. He's going to draw the cue ball back. Low English. There it is.
The jinx is over. Afrin Reyes, his first major title. It's the U.S. Open in 1994. You have to feel so good for that gentleman. <laughs> you really do. And, well, Nicky Varner, you feel sorry for. He had a great tournament, but he's already won this thing twice. There's his first title. The 1994 U.S. Open champion is Efren Reyes. He knocks off Nick Varner 9-6 and becomes the first foreign player ever to win the U.S. Open. Standing by with the champ, our own Alan Hopkins. And congratulations to you, Efren. I was watching the match. In the beginning of the match, you made some key safeties and some great kick shots. But toward the end of the match, it looked like you had got a bad break. You played a safety. Nick had just enough room to make the two ball in the corner. And how he was starting to make his march and go ahead of you. And twice now in the World Championship, to finish second. Were you thinking about that? Was that on your mind at the time? Yeah, he, he said that gonna be happen again. That uh, whenever uh, the his opponent came back and uh, beat him, you know, that's what he thinks. Uh, when when uh, Nick Barron made that uh, good uh, kick, safety shot. Okay, well, it was on your mind, but anyway, you won the U.S. Open and congratulations and a uh, fine job, U.S. Open champion. Back to Dave. It was fun, Efren Reyes was terrific. So was Nicky Varner, but it was Reyes' day. He wins the U.S. Open 9-6. For Alan Hopkins, and every... Tape. We'll be right back. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once again, we are back in time. Of course, we, we wouldn't have allowed the action to start without you people being able to watch it. Score Strickland 11, Reyes 12, and a race to 13. Look out, nine. Ooh. Oh, nine seven. He's going to get the seven. The one's going to go in front of the corner pocket, and now oh. it's anyone's match. Well, this I'm match is a toss-up from from this position. Yeah. Reyes has the equity of being on the hill. Strickland has the equity of being at the table. And after that shot, the increases the value of the control of the table somewhat. I tell you, Earl's won a lot of matches in these predicaments, hasn't he? I mean, this whole tournament, especially. Look Watch out. out. He's Look behind out. the nine. He's behind the nine. What? what he's are you behind. About there, he's he? very close. It's he's gonna very a bit. close. Man, he took a heck of a chance there. It's very close. Very close. He may have, he to, he may have to jump this somewhat. No, he's, little, not he's not too concerned. He's not too concerned. Wait, it's very close. Well, he's falling short of the mark. I'm just gonna cut this in a second. He's like have gotten straight on the floor, but uh, he's all right. He's just gonna make the ball. Happen. It goes naturally two cushions and then two two cushions with the five to the six. Well, he's falling short once again. Yep. He'll hit the soft. <laughs> he has to hit the shot soft because there's no other route. This ball can turn at him, though. It certainly can. But it didn't. But the uh, equity uh, mm -hmm. of the control of the table seems to be getting larger. I guess so. you got to like the shooter right now to win this match. Oh, what a ball game. Yeah, you definitely felt the large lead of this match increasing, you know, when, uh, <laughs> when Reyes missed that one in the corner after Strickland played that safety, and then all of a sudden you knew it was anybody's match. I said yeah. in the beginning, remember about halfway through, I said in the makings of a 12-12 match, and that's exactly what it is. This is kind of the matches we would look forward to. Well, I guess they're going to play one game for the title and the cheese. I think you're like me, Billy. I like to see a match like this when it comes 12-12. When they break the ball, I like to see a little cluster here, a little cluster oh, there. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. So there's some play we, to it. Sure. Everyone wants to see a thrilling finish. 
Everybody wants to see both players at the table in a hill-hill match to negotiate uh, the layout somewhere. Right, and some safety play sure. a whole bit. So, well, maybe Ford gave him a slug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's one thing you don't want. You don't want to scratch. You don't want to make the cue ball jump off the table. Make sure you make contact with the one solid. You don't nice. want to... Ooh, he, the one's going to go to the center of the table, possibly. We got a few clusters. Not much, but I mean, it's something. You well, know. the seven and an eight at the other end of the that's table. The eight precludes yeah, the seven for pocket. That's thing pocket in the, in the upper left. And he's starting off with a, a fairly thin hit on the one. To the position of the three at the other end of the table. I don't know if the angle that he has on the one suggests that it's natural position. Maybe he has to uh, he's spin going for, it somewhere. No, he's drawing it underneath the seven and eight here. He's drawing it underneath here. He got around and gave him no, a shot. No, he gave him a shot. Now, Ray Watch is the nine ball here, Billy. No, I no, don't think the angle No on. nine here. No nine here. He's going for it. If it was up another inch, he could have drew it into the nine because the three was there yeah. for position anyway, but right, it's exactly. not the way it turned but out. There's no nine here. Here's a, this is a tough shot. You got to kind of like a slow roll this. Not real slow roll. You're going to go into the nine, or you don't have to go into the nine, but you're not going to hit this ball hard. And like naturally, you want to hit the ball hard. I like his chances here. Well, you got to like the shooter's chances, but believe me, this ain't no easy shot right now. I'm He's got a funny bridge off the cushion where it's laying. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and when you're hitting down on the cue ball off a rail like that, the ball can swerve if you hit it a little bit bad. He's going to hit it so where the cue ball will then go maybe into the nine or possibly. A quarter of the way back up table. Yeah, but look at what happens. Oh well, you that see? was the problem. He's he, didn't, he didn't have the feel at that moment to, to go ahead and slow roll it, so he opted to go ahead and cinch it. That's what you're supposed to do, though. By cinching it, he you now has another table. problem to deal with later on. But I guess it's a it's a fair trade off considering you want to stay in control yeah. of the table. And we're getting what we wanted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's he's not going to shoot this ball unless he can make the four ball. He's not going to shoot. The, he's just going to draw and he's going oh, he's shooting this ball. Here's one of them spin shots again. The bing shots. The bing. Ooh, does he hit perfectly. these shots good? Perfectly hit. That's like Wimpy used to play. Remember Wimpy? Luther last year. Do I remember Wimpy? Who yeah. could forget Wimpy? Well, if the people haven't seen him play before, I mean, that's the way Luther used to play all the time, spinning the ball and pinching. Okay, does he have the angle to draw off of the nine, yes, clearing, he does. The, yes, clearing he does. the way for the five? The nine's just going to come out of there. Maybe he'll go into the six or not. doesn't matter. All he has to do is just draw this ball, and it's going to bump off the six. Just make sure you don't draw too strong. Just nip the top side of the nine. You want to make sure you go into the nine here. Just draw it straight back just a little bit. Just a little bit, I said. What? He didn't have to do that. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, uh, why did he do that? Because he wanted to make it even more thrilling. No, but if he just pinched that ball a little bit, it would have stopped right there. Just a nine would have came over the same way, and he would have been right well, there. Well, he to go figured the nine was going to go into the six, and he was going to move the six. Well, he might have figured that, yeah. He must have figured that, otherwise, why would he shoot it like sure. that? Sure. See, now he even pointed like he was supposed to move the six. With his finger, he could have moved it, but the nine, he didn't. Well, he's got, he's got, he can see pretty much of a full ball at his five ball. So, he, I mean, he's going to send it up table, and this, ho this whole game depends if he can get it behind the six ball. Yeah, there's a possibility he may even be able to bank this five up table. You know? Maybe, That yeah, shot's available, maybe. and then he can use the six as an interfering ball. Yeah. If he pockets oh, the bank, I if he pockets the bank, he'll have the six to shoot. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, watch the eight. Watch the eight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Stricken said, oh, okay, he's going to have goodness. that ball. Oh, boy. Now, the position Strickland should have been in, Reyes is in that position. Uh, uh, but he's in a worse position, Billy. He can't even go to the left-hand cushion because there's no access to the five well, on the this seven, side. The seven is an interfering ball. Yes, he goes to the left. He precludes him from kicking in that fashion. He can't go to the right because there's no cushion there. <laughs> he's in big trouble. He's in big trouble here. The short cushion is the only cushion he, has, he can go to. Oh, what a bad oh, roll, my. huh? Oh, Jeepers. Horrible roll. Horrible roll. Horrible. He's going to, he, he might be able to go back and forth here. That's what he's looking at. I don't like that because you're going to leave a shot. Yeah, you're not going to get movement from the five ball here right. if you're able to contact it. And it looks like the, the short cushion is the only cushion he can go to. Behind the six. You, you know, he kicks balls. You know, he could nip the five. In other words, going to the left-hand cushion, just missing the seven ball, nipping the five, and coming three cushions back down table. I think he's going twice. I don't twice like this twice. shot because you're gonna, you, you don't get no movement, like you said. You, and you might miss this ball. 
Oh, oh Jeep. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. What a shit. Oh, my Look at Earl's Strickland. Put the camera on Earl. Yeah, Earl's even clapping on that Put shot. Put the camera on Strickland. Look I don't this. believe it. Sport fans, you have seen oh, everything. Oh, my wow. shot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. That, they're going to play this in Manila. You're going to sell this tape in Manila. I know that. Jeepers. Well, that's why they call him the magician. There you have it. He's not out yet, though. I've seen funny things happen. And he's falling a little short yeah, of the mark. Now, short. He, now he has to go two oh, cushions. Jeepers. Or draw it one cushion. I think, I don't know. He's got a, he's got a funny angle he's here. Got, he's got to force it and make sure he doesn't force it into the corner pocket. He's got a funny him. angle. Oh, the suspense is still there. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This is the rack that we wanted to see. We got everything we wanted. And He's more. drawing one cushion. And more. Right selection here, I think this is perfect. He's That's there. it. He's home. He's home. What a finish. What a finish. What huh? a finish. Dick, you couldn't get no better. Oh no wonder you asked me to do this. Oh, what a finish. Uh, and, and I really have to <laughs> commend Earl for his sportsmanship there. I mean, yeah. he really was happy for, for Reyes in the regard that he made a terrific shot to steal the match away from him. Just incredible, what a performance. Well, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, that I've been playing this for 30 years, I've never seen a kick like that. He kicked that seven ball in, or, I mean, or whatever ball that was. You, you, the five ball. The five ball. Everyone, everyone in attendance thought, especially if they were knowledgeable, thought that he was anyway, dead like in the water. And, and, like you no said, and like you said, going to cushions on that shot, he wasn't going to get no movement on the five, and he did, and he had it just enough to, for the five to get to the hole. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, goodness. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful finals. Oh, this is going to be a great finals for people to buy. Hope you enjoy this. Anyway, it was a bit of a pleasure <laughs> well, doing this with you, Billy. I'm glad you got me on this one. This is a capper here. It certainly has been a pleasure, and uh, we've been trying to get you up here in the booth for seven years now, and fortunately, you know, we were able to get you for this match, and what a thrilling, thrilling match it was. And I don't know if we're going to be doing an interview, but uh, Efren, Efren is, is entitled I think we to, this, get to this moment here. right now. Yeah, see if you can get Efren up here. Okay. Chris. Chris. Well, what, what Rick Bowling... Tell Efren to come over here. Efren. We're going to get Efren for you. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I mean, I mean, I mean. He's shaking oh. hands with everybody over there. I mean, this has been a great final. So. Uh, yeah, that, that would be great. That would be great. I, I'm sure that. What a, what a wonderful shot that we have there on the, on the freeze frame. I mean, that's just wonderful on the freeze frame. Yeah, that's sportsmanship there. Oh, that's, that's, that's a great shot there. Oh, uh, he was dead in the water here. He only had two <laughs> options, one which Jimmy and I both disagreed with, but obviously we were wrong, especially when you watch the outcome of this shot. This is Hill Hill in a race Don't to get 13. no better than this. Look it at this. He doesn't. hits it perfect. Oh, my goodness. What a shot and <laughs> what a time to come with a shot like that. That was really an incredible match and an incredible shot and an incredible finish. I've seen a lot of things, but that was one of the most spectacular things I've seen in this game. Well, Earl's on his way up here now and also with Efren. And, uh, Yeah, I'm going to stretch this mic out here. Uh, we're, we're now on the outside of the booth. Uh, Earl and Efren are both here. <laughs> Efren, Earl, Earl, I'm going to tell you what, uh, I really commend you with your sportsmanship. I mean, when he made that kick shot, the life should have drained from your body, but yet you were glad for this man. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I've been playing pool for 25 years, and I've only seen that shot made on me twice. And one of those times was tonight.
Keith McGreedy made that same shot on me in 1984 when we were playing call shots in the Clyde Childers Tournament in Richmond, Kentucky. And I was sitting there looking at him. I said, he can't go one rail. He's got to kick two rails. I said, Keith made this shot on me one time in 25 years. And I said, is it possible he could make the same shot that Keith made, uh, what was that, 11 years ago? And he did. I'm thrilled for him. That was a great shot. Well, I, I know you were thrilled for him, and you were really genuinely thrilled for him. We, we got you on the monitor. It's absolutely great sportsmanship, and I commend you for it. What a great tournament, Earl. You played a great Well, tournament. I'll tell you, you know, uh, I'm very fortunate. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very fortunate to be in the finals. I didn't play well this week. Some guys uh, fainted over a few shots for me, and uh, but uh, overall, I, I feel like I gave a good performance. Uh, I, I made a few mistakes here and there. I think that I might have won the match had I corrected some safeties or something like that. I played a poor safety on the last game. But, you know, for it the end like that, I'd rather it end like that than win in the tournament, actually. <laughs> it was a thrilling finish. Everyone, everyone that was here in attendance can uh, testify to that. It was a thrilling finish. We couldn't have asked for anything better than that. You played great, believe me. Well, me and uh, Efren's played a lot of matches around the world, and I can speak for him, you know. If, uh, if I'm playing and, 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 and I'm not making too many simple mistakes, he knows he's got a tougher time with me. That's right. And, so I'm uh, sure he does. He respects and you. And Efren you. knows I was struggling this week. He could see it in my <laughs> stroke but now poles aren't pocketing right uh, struggling with position he knows there's a different man from the world tournament to here but but Efren is uh, you know he's a dedicated player I think he practices a little more than I do but you know I played all of them he's the greatest as well, far as well I'm, I'm sure he appreciates that, especially coming from you uh, once yeah. again we appreciate what you've said here and congratulations on a great tournament a thank great you Billy finish. thank you very much and now the magician the man that was dead in the water we all thought you were dead in the water when you walked up to the table. Well, you were at the table. You played a safety on, on Earl, but you inadvertently pocketed the eight in the corner pocket, and we all thought you were dead. How were you? Nine, thinking? six now. Rempe has literally come back from the edge of uh, despair. Let's see about this break. Made a ball. Yeah. And going to come away with good he's position. Got a shot. Yes, he does. Yes, he's he got does. a shot yeah. and a yeah. good layout. Uh, yep. Uh, the key here. Two looks balls like, gone. Uh, Just getting on the three. Yep. He's got to get on this four and then get up here for this five. And he's starting a little thin on this one ball here. And here's the three ball, which he's playing position on next. Got to have a good touch here. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Isn't it? Yep. That's he's absolutely perfect. What a nice touch. What he's looking for is to play position on this four. The problem is if he slides over in here, he can't hardly get around this nine to come around two rails for the five. So he looks like he's trying to fall straight in. So he can draw out of there. That's what he did, Nick. He wants to draw straight that's out. Exactly he couldn't what come he around did. two rails. I tell you what, though, look at the seven. The seven's right in his path here. He no, he just, all he's got to do is use a little uh, left-hand English to come off the rail a little bit. For the six? I mean, yeah. for the five. Yeah, but then he's got to come all the way back down this end of the table for the six. He needs to be where he could draw straight up for this ball, Steve. That seven's blocking his path, and look how close to the, the, uh, nine, the, the nine is to the six. He needs to come up on the same side, doesn't he? Well, I think he can come off the rail. Look out. That's perfect. Beautiful. That's perfect. Draw straight back up. Play the six in the same corner where the nine is. I'll tell you what, this requires a pretty good stroke here for control of this cue ball because he's hitting close to the point of the side or is he going to pull above the pull side? Back. Pull back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he's going to be all right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like the, now he's got problems. Believe what it or about not. This, Steve, do you like this where he follows past the nine and then cuts the seven in the side? I uh, think just that, missed the six. I think that's, I mean just missed the nine. I think that's what he's got to do. He's down he's, nine six. He's in got games. no uh, other choice. But if he hits a nine, he could scratch. Well, that was a nice shot. Now he's uh, where does he play the seven side? In the side, side pocket. pocket. And he's got to hit it soft uh, to get position on the eight. He mm -hmm. doesn't want to come past the eight ball. 
Rempy doesn't have any margin for error, gentlemen. He's down 9 6. Well, this really starts putting him close in the match uh, if he wins this Third game. Time. What a big game for him. Yep. Doesn't want to come past the 8, but he's going to. He may hit the 8. He got a roll. He got a roll. Look at him dance around the table. What a nice break, and Reyes looks on. The adrenaline's Boy. flowing in Rempy right now. Boy, what a fortuitous kiss that was. And he knew it. Trying to close uh, to 9 the seven. Adrenaline's flowing, 9 7 now. Yeah. And suddenly, the crowd warms uh, to the task. Suddenly, USA has come alive. <laughs> so Rempy has come from the. The brink of defeat to make a match out of it. He still isn't out of the woods. Reyes still leads 9-7 in the legends of nine ball semifinal competition. We're at the Commerce Casino. Winner goes on to play Jimmy Fletch for the title. Here we're All back. Right, Here we uh, are. Rempy break. 9-8. This is a key game. Oh, the corner ball. Did you uh -oh, see that, yes, Jimmy? Sir. Where's the one? Is it coming all the way over? Is nope. he going to make it? No. Nope. No. Nope. Tough break. Well, what's he going to do? He's going to play safe. Hit. Okay, what he's going to do, I think, is try to hit this one thin, come around two rails, and either come this way, or if he gets more spin, maybe this way, and get him with these two, or these two. Depending I, on how thick he hits the one. I concur with that. I think that's what he's going to do. Scott Smith, the referee, is checking to make sure it's a clean hit. See, the three ball is in a very, very good position for Rempy. He gets him with that two. He's got a great shot, and that is. That's no, that's no bargain here. Nick, he got away with a kick. And what do you do? You duck him behind the five what, and I nine? Like, yeah, I love. If he misses that nine going in, he's got a pretty strong safety. Okay, what I think he's going to do here is chip the side of the wand and try to come over and drift between the rail and the nine and just stop anywhere here by the five. That's what he would like, I think. And I think that's what he's going to do. And I think he's going to be successful at it. Yeah, he's got a pretty good touch on these, and he's been playing great pool to get back in this match. Uh, it's 9 8. He tried to play the four, I guess, huh? And the nine. Perfect, though. This is going to be a little tough to hit, even for the uh, magic Magician. man himself, That's huh? Right. 9 9 Rempy breaking. 9-9 nine, nine, Rempy breaking. How do you hit this ball now, Steve? You've got to go at it one rail with low kill. I'll tell you what. I would bet you at dinner that he does not hit this ball here at one of these fabulous restaurants. Well, I'll tell you, he, he's got to be worth I didn't hear of... you. I didn't hear Nick. <laughs> I lost my voice. Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I don't Nick know was if just I want to match up a golf game with you either. <laughs> uh, you beat me I was just times. wondering if. Oops. Oh, he's playing. He's tying up the five. Wow, well, Mr. Rippey has to. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't tie but it he up. He did. Might put it where he has to be on this one side, which would be tough. Hey, Nick, where is Jimmy going to make the one? He may have to either play safe or the one three. It looks like he's lining up for the one three, and I think I like that. I think that's a choice I would make. The key here, I think, is going to come when that ball next to the one is the four and then playing position on the five, which is the ball close to the nine, assuming that he makes this combination. Because uh, he has to hit this first shot good to make uh, it, even with ball in hand. And this, is a, this is a tough shot. Great shot. Nice Great shot. shot. Now, at that point, Tom, I think he would have liked to have made both balls there. I don't doubt it a bit because he's in great shape for the two ball. But And he could have come down off the two ball, maybe busted up that five and nine down there, couldn't he? Well, he doesn't need to. Don't bust up anything you don't need to. Yeah, but I mean, he's got to get on this side of that five ball to make right. it, I think. Yeah, but he can, he can do that. That's not... 
No, no he didn't like good. that. I think he's going to have to play safe uh, on this, too. Uh, well, he can. Yes, he can. Well, he can drop down behind the five and nine, put the eight, put the two on the right-hand rail, and uh, he'll have a pretty good safe. But I know one thing. He wanted to run out. There's yeah. Reyes. He looks mad. Look at him. That's right. He looks mad. Put it going, doing the reverse on this ball. Pretty good shot. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have wanted to do that, though, Nick. Well, that... I wouldn't have wanted to do it, but I'm not sure. Was there a better shot there? I don't know. He may end up re-snookered here, but. But I'll tell you, this match is worthy of the talents of these two guys. They have played some you tremendous know, pool. You know, he's got a chance to re-snooker him here. He can kick to the side rail, spin it down, hit the end rail, then come up and bump the two against the rail and bring the cue ball right up above a nine, pretty close to I, where it's at right I now. I don't think he can spin it that far. Oh, you don't think so? No. He can't catch the end rail is what mm, you're saying? I don't think so. I don't think he can get by the nine early enough. Nikki, you kind of lost me with that first spin and the first rail that you were going to move. <laughs> okay. That's what he's looking at right now is my shot where he hits this rail, comes off, bumps the two to catch the rail, and brings the white ball here. Another choice is if he can't do that is go one rail, cut the two over toward the five, and try to bring up the white ball right here behind the nine. Those are his two choices he's looking at. Let's see which one he picks. Well, we're down to where you can't afford to make a mistake. It's yeah, this nine, is a eight. big shot, nine, yeah. eight. It's a... Uh, Jimmy will actually be the favorite if he wins this game. He'll be breaking with a score tied 9-9, which uh, after being down 9-4, to four, he's yeah. got to feel like he's uh, almost won the match already. That's right. He's looking it over pretty careful, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> there is a time limit on uh, how much I you can take I tell you what, I think shot. he's going to re-snooker him here. I really do. I think he's going to hit this good. Oh, he hit it hard. Was oh, he got a little bit of a roll there. Got a roll. The tide has turned a little, huh? Yes, it has. Well, he got lucky with that. He hit it harder than he should have, didn't he? Well, we both thought that he should have hit it easy. Okay, right, right here is the two ball this first one here's the cue ball and what Efren's trying to do is figure out a way to play him safe and he it's hard to tell what he's doing he's gonna try to put him behind the six up in the box the six is in the box he's trying to try to put him behind the six in the box oh yeah thin and leave it behind the four no no that's a good shot there huh if he could hit the end rail here, it wouldn't be so bad, but Ephraim's kind of put him. This is a tough kick here. Tell you what, I like kicking. Yeah, he's he's kicking the way I like, Steve. Wow. <laughs> he could even make the nine here if he got lucky. Or make the two off the nine in the side. He's going to kick three rails. Okay. And the third rail is the one he's pointing to. That's where the cue ball, when it comes around, it'll hit the side rail, end rail, and where Jimmy had his finger pointing. Three rails and then try to hit the two and hope it either goes inside or something good happens here. Might make a ball here. Here comes the foot. No, not going to reach. But he's laughing from a pretty testy shot. I think he's going to slice it right in. What do you I think? I do, too. I think he'll put it right in the corner and be in great position for the four and go from there. Well, I think that's the only thing he's uh, really worried about. I don't think he was worrying about missing the two, but I think he'd like to see this cue ball fall in the right place. Missed it. Side pocket, it. side pocket. He got that a little thick, didn't he? Missed it. 
Suddenly, when the score is 9 to 8, the pockets tighten up a little bit. Well, <clears throat> Lady Luck is a fickle lady, no question about her. Sometimes she smiles at you, and other times she laughs right in your face. Well, tell you what, he didn't get, get a little more of it. He oh. didn't get where he wants. I tell you no. what, playing position on this five is not going to be easy here. I and agree. Ryan's blocking his path unless he can come short of the nine. Would you try to come off that third rail and just take the thin cut here, Steve? Yes, I would. What we're talking about is play the four here. The problem here is the nine. Come around three rails and try to come along and bounce into this area and then take the thin cut for the corner here. The problem with coming around th three rails and hitting this fourth rail and ending up on this side is this ball right here is in his way. That's what he's trying to avoid. He's going all the way and he's going long. What a nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. I like his choice better than the one I was thinking. Nice about. shot. <laughs> and the execution was there. <laughs> it is 9 8, and it might soon be 9 9 in the race to 11. What a comeback this would be. Rempe was down 9 4. Boy, he's coming forward, too. Nine ball. Oh, wow. he's, ooh, boy, that's a small hole coming across <laughs> there. Would you play that like that? No, no. He hit it perfect, but. Again, that's why we're up here. <laughs> boy, that's perfect position. I think we've got a time match. Not only yep. do you have to beat Reyes, but you've got to answer to every critic in the house. All of the best players are sitting here watching Rimpy and wondering, why did he play it that way instead of the way I thought he should? You know, we've never missed a shot sitting up here. Not yet, no. And but I don't intend to. No. Well, halfway mm. house here. Amen. But he can make this. He won't scratch, will he? No. Upper corner, 9-9. Nine, nine. There it is. This is some comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Reyes and Rempe tied at nine. At one time, Reyes led 9-4. The race to 11, and now the momentum has swung to Reyes, who be, uh, to Rempe, who will be back with the break. It's the most key game of the match right here. Well, we got a barn burner in Los Angeles. To make the ball. He's made one. Got the one ball. Can he hit it? And he make the two anyway. Well... Let's see what's happened here. Reyes has gone down to 926. Rempe's gone up to 895. 68 to 75 balls pocketed. F two mistakes now on Reyes's side. Two positioning errors. You know, I mean, this is getting close. Made them both, and now he's got the three ball. He, he played them both. Tom. He played them both. That's, that was that no was, accident. That was no accident. He, he knew what he was doing there. As soon as he elevated his cue, he hit it so hard and hit the one straight into the two, and the one followed the two in. And notice he drew the, he drew the ball to play position on the three. Tell you what. Rempe wins this game, he's going to feel like he won the tournament. I don't know, but what he won't, uh, he'll certainly be in the finals if he wins this one and the next one. Yeah, he may play this in the corner and draw over for the, I mean, he may play it in the side and load over. Oh, he's going up in the corner. Yeah, he is. Did he get there? Yeah, and that corner uh -huh. is full. He's Don't. going to have to draw his ball and spin it because he needs to fall close to straight in on that eight here. I'll He's tell you what, these are not the type of shots you'd like to have when the score is 9-9. Nine, nine. And Efren Reyes is sitting over there waiting. Is he looking to shoot the eight in the corner where he's at?
That was a marvelous throw there. Pretty good shot there. Now, what do you do, Nick? It is soft. Just bounce roll. off. Mm -hmm. Just center ball and bounce off a foot or so. That's right. Put it back over in this side. Oh, he's coming around two rails. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but it's not as easy as it could have been. Mm -hmm. You're right, Tom. I mean, he hasn't made it a... Come, come back, gentlemen. Down 9-4. He now leads 10-9, and he's breaking. Perseverance. Perseverance paid off. Amen. Well, Jimmy made some uh, really great shots in this match. Yes, he did. Coming back. Down nine to four. He had to be eight to five, not even to get to the table against Reyes. 906, 926, active stats. It's right on the money. And Rumpy is a break and making a ball away. From playing for the championship next week. Jimmy Wetch already has advanced through semifinal play. Talented young uh, player. I noticed the last break, he took some of the speed off the break and it really worked good. And just hit him square. Made the eight nine. Oh, it was going. The nine was going in the hole. Oh, it sure was. And the three oh. got in the way, huh? Now, what do you do, Steve? Nine mm. was going in the hole. That two's laying in a nasty spot. Do you bank that cross side? Mm. How far is the two away from the rail? Yeah, it looks like about an inch, maybe. I can't tell real good. I can't tell. But if that is well. off enough, he can... Maybe our cameraman can tell us how far is that two away from the rail there, cameraman? Maybe you can give us a close up. No, he's not giving us. Oh, he's shooting it. He's shooting the two. He's banking the two. He's going for the money. Going for the cheese. I love it. That's the way to do it. Missed it. Missed it. Oh, oh. Looks like we got a 10 10. -er. Tell you what, whoever wins this match played one heck of a match. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Rempe leads 10-9, but Reyes is on the threshold of tying it at 10. Boy, this has been a thrilling match to watch here. This is great TV, Tom. This is great pool, no question about it. Well, players have just played so good. He didn't want to do that. He he's very unhappy the, about it. He uh -huh. wanted to play the five on the side, but the way he's been playing, he wouldn't have looked. Uh, he wouldn't have looked at this shot second about five or six no, yards earlier. No, no. I'm sure he's gonna be all right here. Is he cutting it inside? No. No, I think the corner. Right in the center. Well, he was ahead 9-4, and he fell behind 10-9, and Rimpy now sits and watches, and sending the race to 11 right down to the final match. Mm. Rimpy missed that bank. Might have cost him the match. Yeah, it wasn't an easy shot, but no. I think I'd had to go for it myself. I always go for the cheese. We are going to hear so much noise after this nine goes in. It's unbelievable. So there we are. It is tied 10 games apiece. The 11th game to be decided. And with it, the man that will go to the finals against Jimmy West. We'll be back. Tied at 10. Reyes now with the break. On, on the break, you missed the standing ovation from both players. 
Oh. Oh. Did make a ball? No. 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 Came up empty. Oh. But what did he leave Rempy? Anything? Well, he's he's hitting to the left of the one and trying to come down. And bury the cue ball. Bury huh? the cue ball or bury the one behind the seven and eight and hope he doesn't scratch in the upper corner. God, if he scratches in between the four and nine, it'd be just gut wrenching. Yeah, it looks like he's maybe trying to go all the way to the straight down table. I think he is trying to go. Up for most, of course, is don't make a mistake. Whatever you do, make it work right. He's going for the nine. How can he do that? My kind of guy. That's kind of a, that's kind of a loose call there, wouldn't you say? Nick and I are both looking at that, each other spur in the face. I'm a little surprised he gambled on the nine there instead of the snooker, huh? Okay, here's the one, here's the two. Getting position on the two is a problem. Making the one. What a kill shot. Mm. Just a marvelous kill shot. Well, he's got to hope he doesn't hit the side point right now. Uh oh, he doesn't want to be straight in. No, he and he is straight in. Okay, what we're talking about is he plays a three here and tries to draw up and get it off the rail for the four ball in this pocket. We don't know if he can do that or not. Kelly is just looking straight down at the floor. That's amazing. That is <laughs> I amazing. I feel the pressure oh, oozing boy. out of your head. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Mm. I'll tell you what, he's uh, still got a tough way to get out here for the Yeah, but for the, I uh, mean, it would have been a tougher way to get out from sitting in the chair. <laughs> Can he make that up there? No, he wasn't even thinking. No, pretty crowded up there. He's smiling. Yeah. Well, it's kind I'd of a nervous to... smile, though, I think. I mean, it's. He's got to cut it in the side, side I think. Cut it in the side. I think well, he, he can was worried it. about we've, making the four there, him. Steve. He just yeah, did it. He did. He still got a problem. Yeah. Well, let's see how he's going to get position on the seven. The crowd is going crazy with yeah. every shot that yeah. this guy makes. Yeah. I think he's got to go far. And everybody's offering suggestions, or apparently so, because he's looking at the crowd. He's got to go forward, hit a little high right hand English, and play position for the seven of where he's standing. The winner goes to the championship. Did he hit it? He didn't hit it. Oh, he's a little bit soft. He didn't hit it hard. Boy, he's got to make a great shot. Oh he's frozen God. on the rail. This guy is really, he's giving us a thrill right here. Well, this match has been a thrill a second. Rempe was down 9-4, came back and won six in a row, went ahead 10-9. Saw Reyes come back to even it up at 10, and now this is it, the race to 11. The winner will be decided in a couple of moments. What makes you think he can't make that seven over in the oh, corner? Oh, he can he can, but it's not easy, especially when the score is what it is. Oh, my God, he hit it a million miles an hour. He hit a million Almost. miles an hour. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> he hit the crowd is going crazy here. I don't know how he did that. He almost scratched on that. Show. Yeah, but he almost made the nine ball, too, at the other end. He almost made the nine. He, he almost, almost made everything. everything. When this, oh, man. If he makes this and wins this game, the crowd is going to go absolutely crazy. Well, I think it's almost a fait accompli. Oh, my God. What a way he's doing this. Look at the crowd going yeah. crazy. He's doing this. The crowd is going crazy. I love him. 
11-10. What a match. Reyes outlasts Rimpey. Jim Rimpey oh fought his way back to take a 10-9 lead. That's one of only the greatest to lose matches I ever saw. What a match. So Reyes will now go against Jimmy Wedge, a man he defeated in this tournament earlier, 13-12. to 12. Wow. And what a match that'll be for the title next week. Well, I don't know, 11-10 Reyes over Rempe. 1996 is gonna be a great year for the Pro Billiards Tour. But I tell you, this match, they'll have to go a long way to top it. Congratulations, Efren. Thanks. Very tough match. Yeah. In fact, some anxious moments, even when you won uh, Rack 11. And Jim Rempe came from down 9-4. I didn't give you a snowball's chance, you know where. And what a great comeback you made. Well, the last three times that Efren and I played, it came down 11-10. He won two times and I won one. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty more, right, Efren? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of guys, well, including my way Miserac, want to send him back to the Philippines, <laughs> revoke his visa or something. Great player. He's one of the greatest players I ever witnessed. That's why they call him a magician. He gets out in shots like that where other people don't get out. Give but I tell you, you're a gracious uh, loser, Jim Rempe, and a magnificent player in your own right. It was a great match. And now you move to the championship against uh, Wetch, and uh, you took him 13-12. That was a tough match for you. Yeah, that's tough match for me, because, uh, you know, when I adding a power 9-4, then I play the uh, one ball. They changed all the whole game. <laughs> it did and, indeed. And then it, when they scored, it's a 7-9, 8-9, I'm starting pressure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot and of the, pressure. The two bounces yeah. off the cushion just that much, yeah, I'm right. out. That's right. That's I why know. this game is such a game of interest. It's just incredible. And so close. Yeah. Gentlemen, congratulations. Yeah. What a great match. The best of you. We look forward to seeing you on a lot more competitions head-to-head in 1996 and we'll see you in the championship match thank you Efren good luck to you and we'll see you also in the championship of the legends nine ball here at the commerce casino next week it'll be Reyes against Wedge I'm Tom Kelly for Nick Varner and Steve Miserak thanks for being with us and we'll see you next week bye-bye